This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. Straight up. Hi, I'm Steve Irvin with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. To the mask showdown, Arizona's Supreme Court could have the ultimate say on a law banning mask mandates in schools. As expected, the state is appealing a judge's ruling that said that ban is unconstitutional. Attorney General Mark Burnovich wants to skip the appellate court and go straight to the state Supreme Court since the case will likely wind up there anyway. Brnovich did ask for the judge's ruling to be put on hold for now. That was denied. That means schools who have mask mandates in place are not violating any law at the moment. A crackdown on street racing, several new laws now in effect, including one that can lead to jail time and hefty fines. A new street racing law now in effect. The new punishment, a class two misdemeanor with a $750 fine and up to six months in jail. We have been reporting on the street racing crackdown on Valley streets. In the past year, Phoenix set up its own task force and passed an ordinance allowing police to impound cars involved in street racing. To some consumer news, as the global supply chain crisis continues, the list of impacted items grows. And the newest addition, paint. Sherwin-Williams says the company is facing a raw material shortage. That's driving up its costs, which means your costs go up as well. And price increases also hitting the breakfast table. Bacon is more expensive for Americans than it has been in the past 40 years. The average price for a slab of bacon has jumped nearly 28% in just the last 12 months. Pork chops have gone up 7%. So what's causing this? The pork supply chain in the U.S. got knocked out of whack when the pandemic started as people cleared out meat counters. That followed by meatpacking plants facing closures following COVID outbreaks. Happening tomorrow, hearing from a NASA astronaut, Jessica Meir will be answering questions during a free virtual event for teens hosted by Transportation U. The program hosts experts once a month, inspiring teens to pursue careers in the transportation in industry. Jillian Barsena is an ASU student studying civil engineering with dreams of one day working on roadway or structural designs. She says she decided to attend a Transportation U meeting on, on a whim while in high school. It was something that she initially didn't know she'd be interested in, but she stuck with it and grew to really like it. I would say take all the opportunities that are given to you. Um, you might be surprised by where it ends up. The worst thing that can happen is you're bored with it and okay, I tried it. I'm going to move on. The best thing is that you can, you know, set your life path on um, a trajectory you never expected to take. You can register for tomorrow's event on the Transportation U Facebook page. We also have a link under this story at abc15.com. A struggling Valley Bakery needs all the help they can get. Battered by the pandemic, behind on rent, now the community filled with sweet gestures, hoping to keep them afloat. Julie and Jerry Smith opened Cupcakesters in Mesa just 18 months ago. And sadly, the lifelong dream was quickly hit hard by the pandemic. The couple going from around 40 customers a day to just a handful. They say they need to raise $10,000 by the end of October or risk being evicted from their location. But once their story got out, so many in the community paid them a visit or two or three. That people would come in and say, I heard your story and they, they buy cupcakes. Two seconds later, somebody else comes in and says the same thing. So we sold out on Saturday completely. A GoFundMe page has been set up to help them hit their financial mark. Folks have begun donating ingredients as well, like sugar and more, to help cut down on their overhead. You can look for their full story on abc15.com. Tracking your forecast, I'm Chief Meteorologist Danvers Sellins, and we've got another storm system coming in. This low moving through, bringing us a chance for showers and thunderstorms as we head into tomorrow, the last official day of the monsoon season. Now, this is not technically monsoon moisture, but it will count toward our totals if we get any rain because the season technically runs through September 30th. That fall storm clear into the northeast over the weekend, leaving us dry and bringing temperatures back up to the 90s by Saturday and Sunday. But tomorrow, it's 60 60s to start the day, 70 degrees by 7 a.m., 80s throughout the afternoon, and that chance for showers and thunderstorms looking best early in the morning or right before sunset. Here's a look at the next seven days. 89 and sunny on Friday, 90s over the weekend, and more 90s early next week, too, with a slight chance of storms returning. For the latest headlines, weather and traffic, head to ABC15.com or download the free ABC15 mobile app. This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. Straight up.